thousands of spiders appear to rain from the skies in southern Brazil. The Northeast may be prone to blizzards this time of year, but in Brazil, it's raining spiders. In a video that's covered the internet, like an immense web, a local photographer captures images of thousands of spiders shimmying up and down silk threads attached to telephone pole wires. The footage gives the distinct impression of a shower, or perhaps a light snow, of spiders sprinkling down on the shocked residents below. Eric Rice, a 20-year-old web designer in Santo Antonio da Platina, a town about 250 miles west of Sao Paulo, captured the striking video that has since accumulated more than 2 million YouTube views over the course of the week. I was shooting an engagement party for some friends of mine, and I saw the spiders when I was leaving. Now in the late afternoon, he explained to TV 450,000, which posted the video. I've never seen anything like it before. According to biologist Marta Fisher of the Pontifical Catholic University of Parana, however, the phenomenon is not so strange. This type of spider is known to be quite social, she said. They are usually in the trees during the day, and in the late afternoon and early evening, they can construct sort of giant sheets of webs in order to trap insects. Scientists have described around 40,000 species of spiders around the world, but only a handful of them are social. These 23 species are scattered around the world and sometimes swarm like ants or bees. Females often outnumber males 10 to 1 in colonies that can exceed 50,000 individuals. Around Sao Paulo and its neighboring cities, she said, it's not an unusual sight to see a sky speckled with spiders. The species can be found from Panama to Argentina and lives in colonies sometimes comprised of thousands of individuals. Each spider is around the size of a pencil eraser. As Examiner reports, the species webs can stretch from the ground up to tree canopies or human constructions 65 feet high. If strong winds come along, the web may detach from its anchors carrying the spiders and their ruined home to new sites where they appear to rain down. Catching rides on the wind en masse was likely what happened in Santo Antonio da Platina, while the humans gawked below. The flustered spiders were simply trying to pull themselves together after an unexpected journey from some forest or park. Before North American readers breathe a sigh of relief that this isn't happening a bit closer to home, however, it's worth noting that similar colonies live in Texas, in Lake Tawakoni State Park, just east of Dallas. Guatemalan long-jaw spiders construct enormous webs covering up to 600-foot stretches. The spiders build the huge webs in less than two weeks. Researchers think the spiders achieve such sudden engineering feats thanks to their remarkable reproductive capabilities and ability to disperse by ballooning, according to a field guide of scorpions and spiders of Texas. So far, Dallas residents haven't reported massive sheets of webs and their arachnid residents ballooning into backyards. But as witnessed by residents of Santo Antonio da Platina, Stranger things have happened.